Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison. Today we're going to be comparing the performance of the Samsung Galaxy S2, which is over two years old now, and the Zopo ZP980, which came out just earlier this year. So first of all, the Samsung Galaxy S2. It's running Samsung's Exynos chipset, and this includes the brilliant Cortex-A9 dual-core processor running at 1.2 GHz. It's also got an ARM GPU, 1 GB of RAM, and it's got a nice 4.3 inch AMOLED screen. So turning over to the Zopo ZP980, this is running an MTK chipset, and it's the MT6589. It's got a quad core processor, but it's only a Cortex A7, and it's still running at 1.2 gigs. It's got the PowerVR GPU, it's still got 1 gigabyte of RAM, and it's got a much bigger screen at a much higher resolution, 1920 by 1080p full HD resolution. So let's get these two phones together and run some benchmarks. Today we're going to be using Antutu benchmark. And I'm just going to run the test and see how they perform together. So I've started them off almost exactly the same time and we can just watch them run side by side to see how the performance of each device compares. So one thing we're going to have to look out for is the difference in resolution between the two devices. So on the left with the bigger 5 inch screen is the Zopo ZP980 and on the right is the Samsung Galaxy S2. Now this is running a 4.3 inch screen but it's actually quite a low resolution compared to the Zopo which has got a massive 1080p HD screen which has got a much higher pixel density as well. So when we look at the graphical performance that's something to bear in mind. Anyway so they're testing the CPU performance at the moment. Both phones are pretty much neck and neck right now and let's just wait and see how they get on. So the Samsung is slightly ahead at the moment, just a little bit faster than the Zopo in progressing through the test, but we'll have to wait and see how that actually reflects in the results. So we're doing a RAM speed comparison right now, and both phones again pretty much neck and neck about 40% of the way through the benchmark right now. So while we're waiting for this to go on, let's just run over some of the other major differences between the two phones. The Zopo ZP980 should be better at multitasking because it has a quad core CPU compared to the dual core of the Samsung and in general its CPU performance should be much better despite the fact that both are running at the same clock speed and the fact that it's an A7 rather than an A9. Also both phones are running OpenGL ES 2.0 graphics but although the ZP980 has got a much better GPU it also has a much bigger display and so even if the tests run at the same speed between each phone it actually has five times as many pixels to be calculating and twice as high a pixel density. Finally, of course, both phones are running Android Jelly Bean, but the Zopo only has ROMs for version 4.2.1, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S2, if you install Cyanogen mod, you can actually get the latest version of Jelly Bean 4.3 running on it. And so here we go, we finally got the graphical tests going, and these are the 2D graphical tests, and notice how much bigger the androids are on the right on the Samsung Galaxy S2 this is simply because it's a much lower resolution screen and you can see the same thing happening here with this graphical test so all of these lighting effects seem to be much larger on the Samsung screen that's not only because it's a smaller screen it's because there's much fewer pixels so everything has to be scaled up a little bit and now I'm not sure if you can see here but the frame rate is at the bottom of the screen in both these examples. You might need to ensure that you're watching in 1080p resolution but it's flickering between about 7 frames per second and 11 frames per second on the Galaxy S2 on the right and roughly the same between about 8 and 13 on the Zopo on the left although it does seem to look a bit faster and a bit smoother on the Zopo screen but remember of course it's running at a much higher resolution which is much more difficult. Right and there we go, so now we've got our final results coming up. And so the final score is the Zopo wins with 12,831, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S2, a two year old phone, gets only 10,742, still a respectable score. So there you go, give us a thumbs up below and let us know in the comments which phones we should benchmark against each other next. Thanks for watching.